course, the beneficiary of a wonderfully judged tactical ride by Tony McCoy over Christmas when worrying Hartjeballed out of the Christmas hurdle. Here's how they bet. Straw Bear 13 to 8 on Afsu, 9 to 4. Both Straw Bear and Afsu, potential challengers for the champion hurdle. Lots of Cheltenham clues this afternoon, particularly on the Triumph hurdle front. We've had Ash Kazar winning here earlier on at Sandown in good style. Celestial Halo beaten at Doncaster in the last few moments. A big shock there, beaten by the Nicky Henderson trained Century Duty. And Tidal Bay also beaten today at Doncaster. They jump off then for the Topol Contenders Hurdle, two miles, eight flights ahead of them, and setting off in front is Bywell Bow on the far side in the yellow cap, nose-banded Ozako Derry, then Afsun Straw Bear and Peak Seasons at the rear of the field in these early stages, and it's quite a generous pace as they jump flight number one, all safely over. And Bywell Bow, a confirmed front runner, who's done most of his winning at Kelso, his beloved Kelso, leads the way under the Czech rider Jan Vakrašek from Ozako Derry in second place. Afsun sitting handy, Mick Fitzgerald, and that, that may well be sensible. Afsun, who, who stays very well, stays beyond two miles. There's really no point in him getting too far behind. He looked reasonably relaxed today. Afsun, he's uh, inclined to get wound up before his races, certainly at uh, Cheltenham last time he appeared to boil over before the race. Straw Bear is back in fourth place there in the green and gold hoops. Timmy Murphy replacing the injured Tony McCoy who's lying in the sun in uh, Dubai at the moment nursing his uh, injured back and at the rear is Peak Seasons. Quite badly outpaced Peak Seasons at the moment. A big price. Seems well out of his depth, but uh, looking for a bit of prize money. Prize money down to fifth place here, so he has only to complete the course peak seasons to win just over a thousand pounds. And meanwhile, into the back straight now, Bywell Bow just uh, opening up a little bit here from Azarko Derby, and then Afsun and Straw Bear, and finally peak season. So into the back straight, approaching the first of four flights down the back. Bywell Bow over fluently from Azarko Derry. There's about uh, two and a half, three lengths between them. Afsun on the far side. Straw Bear well in touch. Good jump from the second horse there. Azarko Derry and now joins Bywell Bow and the two market rivals. Afsun on the left in the white sleeves and noseband. And Straw Bear, the 13 to 8 on favourite, in behind them at the rear and really toiling his peak seasons. Continuing down the back straight then, and on towards the next. This is a three out they're coming to. Azarko Derry, Afsun almost alongside now. Bywell Bow haven't been headed. Straw Bear just waiting in behind. So they're about to run right-handed out of the back straight. A long run to the second last flight, which is uh, located adjacent to the two furlong marker. So they've got a very long run on turning into the straight through the deepest part of the course, the area around the run to the pond fence. It just gets a little bit boggy. They're just coming towards it now. Uh, this is where they just will kick up a little bit more turf. And it's Ozarko Derry, Afsun on the right. Straw Bear, Timmy Murphy in behind. How's he traveling? What do you think? As they run down towards the second last, Ozarko Derry is nudged along by Richard Johnson. They're going to challenge on both sides. Afsun on the right, Straw Bear over on the far side, as now they begin to stretch now for the second last flight. Straw Bear possibly going to lift off just ahead there. Afsun on the right, Ozarko Derry battling away as the three of them now gallop onto the final flight and all being asked some questions now, all being driven hard. Ozarko Derry's the first to give way and the big two gallop on together, Afsun and Straw Bear, and Afsun is serving it up to Straw Bear as they race up the hill, and Afsun kicks a length, a length and a half ahead of Straw Bear, and in the run to the line, Afsun is going to outstay Straw Bear here at Sandown, Afsun wins, Straw Bear in second, Ozarko Derry back in third, then Bywell Bow, and Peak Seasons duly collects his grand for last place of the five. So Mick Fitzgerald sat handy on Afsun, wasn't going to get too far behind today. 
And there's two to one chance trained there by Nicky Henderson, who's just had a, a very impressive winner at Doncaster in sentry duty. Got a very interesting runner later on here this afternoon in the market man in the novices chase. And he'd be well pleased with this. Afsoon, who ran so well in the champion hurdle at Cheltenham last March, signposting the possibility of another bowl showing at the festival. Things didn't quite work out for him last time out at Cheltenham. His temperament can just get the better of him sometimes. But today he's been at his very best. Straw Bear maybe not quite running up to the form of his Christmas hurdle win at Kempton. And that odds-on chance overturned here this afternoon. And Nick Gifford might well, his trainer, might well be just scratching his head a little. One punter with Jeff Banks had £26,000 to win 16000 laid the odds on Straw Bear. They're not a happy bloke now as Avsoon goes and beats Straw Bear. They, these two continually meeting, return the bottle, the two to one favourite. The several bookmakers were going nine to four as the flag went up. I think that's one for Lord Donoghue's committee, another one of the SPs that they've shaved in. You could have got nine to four as the flag went up. Straw Bear, the 30 to eight on favourite with Osoko Dairy, returned at 16 to one. And 22 Two years ago, Nicky Henderson won this for the first and only time before Morag for Hurdle. He won it with See You Then, a 3-1 chance in 1986. That was his triple champion hurdler, hurdler of course, See You Then. Absoon third in the champion hurdle, not that class, but flooring the straw bear at Bartle, 2-1. Tremendous value could have been had on the exchanges there. The money coming for the outsiders meant that the exchanges offered 89% the front twos. You could have backed them both.